Okay. All right, what's up everybody? Today's workout. I think it's named appropriately. Uh, you'll be sorry. <laughs> Because uh, you know you signed up for the class and yeah you're gonna be a little sore and uh, you might be a little sorry too. Um, we actually do have a strength component today, so we're gonna be using a barbell or you can use dumbbells if you have one dumbbell, two dumbbells, totally up to whatever equipment you have available to you. Um, if you, again if you have a barbell you can feel free to build to something a little bit heavier. If you have like multiple sets of dumbbells you can feel free to bring to uh, build up to something heavier. Um, but we're gonna be doing three sets of ten front squats. Okay. If you only have a set amount of weight, and maybe it's like a little bit on the lighter side, something along those lines, or like maybe you just don't have any weight at all, think of these as tempo reps. So three to five seconds, slowly lowering down into the bottom, quick hold in the bottom of the squat, and then rise back up to the top. And that way that'll at least focus a little bit more on getting those muscles working in the right direction, um, getting those tendons a little bit of, uh, a little bit of ease, because we do a lot of those kind of explosive squatting movements. Um, so the tempo will actually help you out a little bit if you've got any like knee or hip issues or if like your hamstrings or quads are like constantly aching. Um, so good, good exercises to do, right? Just movement to tempo. But again, if you have weight, you can feel free to build up as heavy as you like today for those three sets of 10. Okay, I would suggest building if you have the option to do that. Um, we'll take somewhere in the vicinity of like 15, maybe 20 minutes to do that. I, I doubt we'll need that much time. Um, and you will, unless you have a squat rack, you will have to take that weight from the floor. So if you're uh, using a barbell, you'll probably have to clean that bar up to the front rack. And then once it's up on the front rack, we're going to perform those 10 front squats. Right? Um, I'll show you how to perform both of those movements with both dumbbell and barbell in a minute. Um, but for now, we're just going to kind of talk about the workout. Conditioning piece for today. So after we finish those 3 by 10 front squats, we're going to be moving into a 10 minute AMRAP. It's gonna feel pretty long today because it's a couplet and it's uh, two kind of train wreck movements, right? Those, <laughs> those movements that kind of like give you the big slap in the face. Like you finish that first round and you're like, oh good, I gotta be almost done. And you look at the clock and there's still nine minutes left. Um, so a 10 minute, 10 minute workout today. We've got 10 thrusters, 10 burpees over the barbell, 10 burpees over the dumbbell. So kind of depending on which one you're doing. If you only have one dumbbell, just do single arm thrusters and you can maybe just alternate arms every full round. So do like one full set of 10 on one arm and then do your 10 burpees, one full set of 10 on the other arm, 10 burpees, that kind of thing. Or if you want, you could switch five and five. I just think that's gonna waste a lot of time, um, which maybe that's your goal, who knows. But uh, <laughs> either way, uh, the burpees over the bar, this could be facing or lateral. So if you decide to go facing, just expect that the burpees will probably take a little bit longer. Um, so it'll just be a longer round, right? You probably just won't get as many rounds in, which again, if that's your goal, cool. Go for it, right? And, uh, and shoot for that kind of bar facing burpee and try to make it a little bit more of a, uh, a movement that you might see pop up in a competition, something along those lines. Or if you want to just kind of move fast through it, you're just looking for 10 burpees, right? And uh, again, if you want to do it over something, you can do it over something. The goal on today's workout is obviously intensity. So you want to move quickly, but you also want to move really well. Um, so kind of keep those two things in mind because they go hand in hand, right? If you move really well, you're going to be able to move faster because you're not going to be wasting a lot of ex excess energy at performing those movements. Does that make sense? All right. And then accessory today, we've got weighted glute bridges, which uh, everybody's favorite. You see those in like almost every warm up, um, and you see them a lot of the time in cool downs too, just because it's always good to work the glutes. We're all trying to get that booty, right? Um, any questions on that? And don't worry, I will write it in the in the chat feature so everybody has a chance to see it. All right. So get yourself situated. I'm going to move a little bit so that I can demo a couple movements for you guys. And then we're going to get a clock going. Jake, I have a question. Yeah, go for it. Uh, the strength part, did you say you want us to clean it up or... No. Yeah, if, if you don't have a rack, you're definitely going to have to do the, do the clean. But if you do have a rack, you could take it out of the rack if you like. Okay. That's fine. Totally fine. Um, but yeah, everybody, I think everybody here probably used um, just to clean off the floor just because we don't have racks here. So if you want to make it the closest to how the classes did it, that would probably be the, the closest substitute. All right, that makes sense. So let me show you what these two movements are going to look like. So we've got the front squat. Bar is going to be racked on the front of the shoulders. Elbows really, really high and pinched in with our barbell. Find your squat stance. Hips back, chest up, knees out. And then we're rising back up to the top. Right. 
the thruster. We're now adding a little bit more movement to it. We've got a full grip on the bar now. Elbows are still really high, but now we're adding a press. And so on. Questions on either of those movements? All right, cool. Uh, if you're using dumbbells, it'll just change the direction of the hand. So instead of here, you'll be here. But the movements will be exactly the same. All right. Everybody knows what burpees are, yes? Because you guys all remember, everybody remembers burpees. Lies, I know you remember burpees. I need a demo of 100 burpees. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to start on the floor. So let's move our way down to the ground. We're going to go 30 seconds in a Superman hold. So the Superman hold, we're going to lay on our belly, arms and legs extended, and then we're going to try to get our upper back and erectors to uh, do some movement. And we're going to get the glutes to do a little bit of movement as well and squeeze. Think like you're kind of reaching in both directions, right? Like somebody puts you in the rack and they're turning that handle. They're stretching your body out. 10 seconds. Here we go, ready, three, two, one, and go. That's it, slingshot engage. Squeeze that butt, flex that upper back, big reach with your arms. And then big reach back with your feet. Good, five seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Good, from here, we're gonna press ourselves to the top of a push-up plank, and we're gonna perform shoulder taps. So find your push-up plank, you're gonna stay up on your toes, squeeze the glutes, try to push that upper back up towards the sky, and then just one by one, we're gonna go shoulder taps. Ready, in three, two, one, go. And again, we're going 30 seconds. Good, five, three, two, one, and rest. Good. From there, we're gonna move into a down dog stretch. So normally we do uh, push up to down dog. For now, we're just gonna kind of open the shoulders up a little bit. So the hips are gonna go up towards the sky. The head is gonna pop through the biceps. Think about your eyes looking down at your toes. Yep, kind of like you see Mindy doing up there in the corner. And you'll just be holding that position for 30 seconds. We're gonna go all together. And three, two, one, and go. You start a little bit early, just get a little bit more of a stretch. Try to straighten your arms all the way out as much as you can, or you're pushing your hands through the floor. You're bringing those eyes down towards your toes as you're lifting those hips up. Kind of let that upper back sink through. Good, 10 seconds. Three, two, one and rest good from here we're going to move into groiners with thoracic rotation so we're going to go 20 reps there right right foot will step right up next to your right hand and that right hand will come up off the sky and you're going to open that arm up towards the sky get that upper back open come back down towards the floor and switch sides then you're going to repeat on the opposite side so it's going to be a total of 20 of those 20 groiners you should feel this um, in the hip in the glute in the groin a little bit um, then you should feel it obviously in your upper back as well as you're rotating. Yep. You want to kind of turn that torso in towards the knee. A little bit of extra stretch, just like a regular squat. We're trying to push the knee outside the tracking line of the toe. Good. After you guys finish 20 of those, which will take a minute, you can hop up to your feet and we're going to be going 20 forward stepping lunges. So take a nice big step forward 
making sure that front shin stays vertical. Drive off the front foot back to a standing position. Squeeze your butt at the top and then repeat. Okay, we've got 20 groiners and then we're gonna be moving into 20 forward stepping lunges. Twenty reps there. Twenty forward stepping lunges. I have to show you what the next one looks like. <clears throat> so for our next movement, we're going to be moving into ten push up with a drunken mountain climber. So let me show you what that looks like. So get to a push up plank. Squeeze tight. You're going to perform your push-up, and then a drunken mountain climber on each side. So, kind of like you just saw, your right knee is going to move up to your left elbow, and then bring it back into the plank position. Then your left knee will move up to your right elbow, bring it back to the plank position again, perform a push-up, and repeat. This would be a total of 10 of those. One push-up and two drunken mountain climbers. Good. After you guys finish 10 of those, we're going to move into 10 squat thrusts. So the squat thrust is just a burpee without a push-up. So you're going to make yourself or bring yourself all the way up to a tall standing position. Then we're going to plant the hands, kick your feet back until you're in a plank, kick the feet back in until your feet are right next to your hands, and then stand up. So 10 squat thrusts. And you can think about this movement in the burpee as well because it becomes basically the same movement, right? As you're kicking back into the burpee, the only difference is you're lowering down to the floor. So kind of get used to kicking back to that plank position and then as you're kicking back, let gravity kind of take over as you go into the burpees and it'll just kind of bring you right down to the floor. It'll save you a lot of time, it'll save you a lot of energy, uh, and especially if that low back tends to get tight on burpees, it'll save you a lot of low back tension as well. Okay, we're going 10 of those, 10 squat thrusts. Once you finish that up, or if that's done a little bit early, you can move on to power cleans. So we're going to go five power cleans. If you want to use a barbell, again, you'll be using a barbell. We're just taking the weight from the ground, cleaning it up to the shoulders, which I'll show you what that movement looks like, just in case you don't remember. Five power cleans. If you're using barbell, you go five barbell power cleans. If you're using a dumbbell, you will go five dumbbell power cleans. After your fifth one, we're going to keep that bar, or keep those dumbbells up on the front of the shoulders, and then we're going to go 10 tempo front squats. So basically, tempo just means slow down. Right, hold that front rack, slowly lower down to the bottom position, rise back up, and repeat. So again, after your fifth power clean, we've got five tempo front squats. So just nice and slow. Good, Mindy. Pick those elbows up really, really high and loosen your fingers up. Let's get them. So go from here to there. 
There we go. Yeah, real loose fingers, right? Just two fingers on that barbell. Let that bar rest right on the front of your shoulders. After those five tempo front squats, we're gonna go into 10 thrusters. So get yourself comfortable with the movement. You can choose to go a little bit lighter today. Again, full squat. As we come out of that squat, we're gonna pop up and press overhead. What is after five? That's after five tempo squats, we got 10 thrusters. So, mm -hmm. got a combo of a front squat and a press. Okay. And then we're gonna finish it up with five burpees over the bar or just five burpees, depending on what you plan on doing for the workout today. There's a lot of good breathing patterns to go with the thruster. So I want you to try to think about a couple things. As you're sinking into the squat, especially if you have a decent and upright squat, you're gonna be able to breathe a little bit as you're moving your way down in the squat. And as you press the bar up overhead, right, or dumbbells overhead and you hit that lockout, that's really gonna be the best position for you to take a breath. So if you can kind of let gravity take over, send the hips back, wait till that weight comes to the shoulders and then just sit down into the squat. And as you're coming out, big punch and take a breath here, right? Breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. You'd be surprised how many more thrusters you get through consistently if you're focusing more on the breathing than you are on the thruster itself. And a lot of the time, if you're just thinking about the movement, your legs just start burning, and then you know, as soon as the legs start burning, you're like, okay, I gotta stop. But if you just think about your breathing, your legs won't really start burning until you get to the end, and then it'll be time to put the bar down. And that's one extra round, right? Potentially. Hey, Jake, I have a question. Go for it. So should you sh I thought that when you're doing the thruster, you can inhale on your way down. Yeah, you can, oh yeah. That's what I said. If you've got a good, if you have an upright um, position, you can breathe in both positions of the squat. So as you get down to the bottom of the squat, you can breathe in, breathe out. And as you get to the top, you can breathe in, breathe out. That's usually okay. how I do the thruster. And that saves me a lot of energy, I, I think. Um, okay. But and if you tend to collapse a little bit in the squat, right, or like the chest drops forward, as soon as you start breathing on the way down, you're going to start crunching over even more. So you want to okay. be able to stay in good position first. And if you can stay in good position, then you'll be able to double breathe, right? Breathe on the way down, breathe on the way back up. Um, and if not, then you may just have to breathe at the top. Okay, that's good. That, that's that makes cute. sense. Yeah, that makes that's sense. better. I'm gonna I'll practice, and I'm sure by ten I'll be like exhausted. And it'll yeah. be it takes a little while. It takes a little while to get used to the timing of it. Um, mm -hmm. and you have to practice it a little bit. But yeah, if you think about like bottom of the squat, breathe in, breathe out, top of the squat, breathe in, breathe out, you'll constantly be breathing, right? You have two points of which you can exhale CO2 and inhale O2, which is just okay. gonna help with lactic acid. Cause that, I mean, inevitably, especially in a workout like this, your lactic threshold is gonna build up faster than anything else. So like, yeah. you're gonna feel that like burning sensation in your arms, burning sensation in your legs before your breath even starts to get to that point where it's like so taxed, you can't keep breathing anymore. You know, mm -hmm. if that, um, so if you can like think more about the breathing from the beginning, that oxygen is gonna bond to your lactic acid and then it's gonna, it's gonna push it out. It's gonna make it a lot okay. easier. Okay, I'll try really hard. That's my goal. That's all. That's all we ever ask for. My uh, my back, uh, lower back on the right side still bothers me a little bit, but I think okay. the muscle that runs across my butt really is where it's sore. I could feel. Okay, so it's the glute. Yes. Yeah, really, glute. Like my the burpees are my favorite. Okay. Um, do glute bridges bug it? Yeah, not really. Uh, you, you might be better off doing those than front squats, either that or maybe like a low step up instead of the front squat, just so you're not dropping down below parallel and, and letting the back start to round. Okay, but burpees are okay? They might be. They might be. It'll, it depends on pain. Like if you if you don't feel any pain with them, then they're okay. If you feel any kind of pain, I would, I would say no. I would just go with like either a push up or just a squat thrust, um, something along those lines. Okay, I'll you know, do burpees and I'll do step ups. Okay. All right, thanks. Sounds good. You got it. All right. So we're doing 30 front squats and then the AMRAP. Correct. Yep. Yeah, and I was just about to say, so we're going to we're gonna start with those three by 10 front squats. You guys can start building your way up a little bit if you've got some weight. We'll take somewhere in the vicinity of like 10 to 15 minutes to do this. Um, again, if you don't have a lot of weight, it probably won't take that much time. 
um, just take a little extra rest or move really, really slow through those sets. You could always add a couple reps to it, right? If you're like really limited with weight and you want to do like 20 squats instead of 10, you could always do that, right? Um, if you want to. But personally, I would suggest keeping the weight or um, keeping the reps the same and just slowing the reps down a little bit if you need to, right? So just move real slow like you did through those tempo front squats, right? Okay. And the thrusters is the front squats with the push press? Correct. Yep. Yeah. We're going to start that part all together. So just uh, just front squats for now. Um, and again, they're not time oriented. So you guys can just kind of move on your own. I'll be watching you. Um, if you want to shout it out when you're about to go for a set, I'll be able to kind of keep my eyes right on you uh, a little bit more consistently. Sorry to bother you again. So for the, I will switch the step ups for the thrusters. Now I can do the squats without any weight. It doesn't. Yeah, I think. I think for the thrusters, I think you could probably get away with a push press. Okay. That way you're not dropping below parallel. You're just using. Oh, okay, cool. All right, great. I'll do that. And then I'll do step ups instead of the. Uh... Instead of the front squats. I think that's probably the better, okay. the better yeah. one. You know, maybe, maybe just keep the weight down at your side or just hold it here. Maybe even just go with no weight at first and just do a couple more reps and just take it real slow, um, especially on the way down, right? Take the negative real slow. And I'll be here again if you guys have questions, concerns, or if you're not sure about a position. Yeah, there you go, Barb. I know it's a little uncomfortable. <laughs> Is that a PVC, Barb? I can't hear you. But is that is that like PVC or like a broomstick or something? It's a weighted exercise bar. Oh, okay. It's, um, it's you, you could also try this, right? Just kind of lay it on the front rack and then cross the arms. And that might feel just more comfortable. Just lay it right, yeah, lay it right in the front of your shoulders. Yeah, so Bob, slide it all the way back. Same, same position, yeah, you'd have on the front squat. And you can just put your hands right over the bar like so. Yeah, right over top. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, and then that'll help you keep the elbows up a little bit more. I think because of the weight, it's probably just not pushing down enough on your shoulders to get you into the front rack position. Kind of like okay. if you ever try like, um, that's why I asked if it was PVC, because sometimes if you if you do like front squats with the PVC, it doesn't weigh enough for the <laughs> for you to get the elasticity out of your fingers. Um, so it just kind of like sits right under your chin instead of sitting on your shoulders. Yeah, that's what it was doing. <laughs> Good, Mandy. Elbows up and try to pinch them in. Right, that whole time I want you to try to like touch your elbows together. Yeah, I mean you're not going to get them together, but yeah, there you go. Much better. And then really loose fingers, right? Okay, are we doing the sets together? Uh, no, you can just get, get started whenever you're ready. Yep, on your own, because everybody's going to be building a little bit differently. Some people are just like right at the weight that they're going to be doing. Some people need, need a couple minutes to get there. So you guys will have just about 15 minutes or so to do that. Who wants a cushion? Jake, yes. I have one more round. Is it better to see me from the front or the side? Uh, turn... You have one, one more set of front squats? Yeah. Is it easier you for probably, you to see me? You could probably get two more in. You could uh, get, okay. get two more in. Okay, fine, but that wasn't my question. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know whether you can see me better if, you, if I do it from the side or if I should put the iPad in front so you can see my form there. Um, I mean, you looked fine from the side. Like I could see good. Okay. good you can from the see. Side. Okay. Yeah, maybe maybe try the try the front on the next one. Switch it up and see if there's anything else I noticed. Okay. Maybe I think we're gonna need to see a couple extra rounds there. You're gonna, to you're gonna notice really get a things. full evaluation. You're gonna, you're gonna notice different things from different angles. Okay. <laughs> Great. Uh, uh. <sighs> Keep, keep doing it. We've already done three sets. Yeah, or, or um, yeah, just slow it down a little bit more. So just move a little bit slower. You should okay, probably... Should, can I keep going if I've already done... Yeah, yeah do, do like one, do another set and wait a little bit of time between, between them and go, go real slow on the negative. Good, Susie. Real loose fingers, elbows high. That's it.
Good, Mindy. Yeah, keep pinching the elbows in. Keep trying to like squeeze them together. Yeah, that's it. And then really loose fingers. As soon as you feel the bar sliding down, just loosen your fingers up and pick your elbows up a little more. Yeah, it's going to feel a little weird, but the more you grip, the more the bar will slip. That's what I always say. I said that once. I just said that now. Camera, my last one. Nice. Yeah, like I said, it probably, it probably won't take too, too much time to get through it. Especially because those like higher rep sets always get, they get taxing pretty quick. <laughs> get to like that fifth or sixth rep and you're like, okay, that's why it's time. Good reach. Nice, Anthony. Anthony, are you going um, hang power cleaning jerks for the thrusters? Are you going to do uh, push presses or? Here, I'll, I'll unmute you so I can hear you. Push press. Yes, hang power cleaning jerk. Cool. Oh, okay, cool. Cool, thanks. Yeah, good. Are you going to go uh, single arm or two? Two. It's gonna be rugged. I'm gonna regret this uh, this weight right here. Yeah. <laughs> gonna say that's gonna that's gonna hurt. If I have my own cross on. That's why God made rest. <laughs> okay. Okay. Skip the going up and just bend down and do nothing over. It's too easy. It's flat. Looks like people are getting semi close to their final set. I mean, no, give me give me a show of a show of fingers how many sets you have left. Zero, 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 okay. Okay, cool. All right, so most people are on their last set. Cool. Let's give you guys a couple more minutes. If you're all done, just take a minute. Um, grab a sip of water. Try a couple thrusters. Try a couple burpees. Uh, remember, these movements, they're semi-complex. There's kind of a lot of stuff going on during both of them. Um, so try to find those spots where you can almost, like, relax during each one. I know it sounds kind of, like, counterintuitive. Um, the burpee especially, right, it's, it's pretty easy to relax in a couple positions, right, when you're laying on the floor, obviously. Um, that's a good spot where you can kind of take a breath, but you just don't want to get too comfortable in any position, right? Burpees are really, really easy to just start feeling sorry for yourself. Um, so try to, even if you slow down a little bit, just keep moving, right? Try to like just get that one more rep in, one more rep, right? As soon as you jump over the bar, if you're just really taxed, just lay down on the ground, right? Think about that bottom position as a spot where you could potentially take a quick, like mediocre, second rest right and then you get to hop back up and jump over and then you just get to that next rest spot right which is the floor or if it's like standing right or if it's the jump whatever it is that like you can kind of catch your breath on a little bit try to just keep getting back to that spot take a quick breath and then just keep moving right trying to get stuck on the bottom trying to get stuck on the top because uh workouts like today where the movements are a little hellish kind of both of them um it's hard to it's hard to decide which one you want to get back to um so think about the thrusters as pretty much unbroken sets or right? you should be at least shooting for shooting for those more unbroken style sets and then the burpees are where you're almost going to catch your breath a little bit and, and pace and if you're good at burpees your pace will be a little faster if you're not good at burpees it'll be a little bit slower right but inevitably I think that's really where you're going to catch your breath the most is going to be on the burpees okay, which that might scare you a little bit but you already signed up for the class so it's too late <laughs> And if there's any questions on, on the workout or on weight, um, I think less is more on today's workout as far as weight is concerned. You know, if you're like struggling between two different weights, you're, not, you're looking at the RX weight and the RX weight is just too much for today, lessen it, right? I'd rather see you get through more rounds at an easier weight and be like really gassed at the end than you know, go too heavy and be like, oh, I got like three rounds, but like I did singles on the thrusters. It should be like, you know, I, I think like a good goal for today would be shooting for like, eight to 10 rounds, maybe more. 
Yeah, and if you know how to do any math, you know that's probably going to hurt pretty bad. You're thinking I can do 10 burpees and 10 thrusters in a minute? Right. One for 10 minutes or right. more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, very optimistic. I try. I should I think you can totally do that. You say you're going to try and then you do it. I, I know, I know. Says, I know. It's amazing. Says, Every says, just just for around 19 thrusters. I don't awesome. mind anything with weight. Like I can push myself there, but the burpees, like, yeah, the it's the like body me into water, like. <laughs> All right. Well, I've yet to see you like uh, crumble. So. <laughs> well, in in the end, right, the one thing that's going to save you guys all, all of you, um, aside from tell tech, us is what's going to save us all, is going to be oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> You need air, right? So if you're not getting air, you're most likely going to be putting the bar down because your body's going to think, oh, the only place I can breathe is when the bar is sitting on the floor. And then you're just going to keep getting back to that spot. So if you breathe during the movement, your body will be like, oh, I can breathe while I'm doing thrusters. I'm going to do more thrusters. I have an actual question, like really, not really weird. Like yeah. at burpees, where is the best or actual place where you breathe? Because I don't breathe during burpees. I, mean, I, try to, I try to breathe as consistently as I can, but if I'm really thinking about my breathing, um, I'm usually breathing out when I get to the ground. Because like, if you think about it, when you drop down to the ground, you're most likely going to exhale anyway, right? It's kind of like if you, I mean, <laughs> th throw yourself down on the ground right now, you're probably going to breathe out right when you hit the ground. Um, and you're probably going to be breathing in as you're standing up or getting up out of the burpee. So if you can think about that kind of like lead with the chest down to the floor, like a lot of the, here, I'll, I'll kind of show you the difference between the two. So a lot of people, I just did a bunch of burpees, so I apologize if it doesn't look that great. Um, but a lot of people tend to kind of do these. Right, and then kind of like kick in versus, does that make sense? So think almost like you're leading down to the floor with your chest. And then kicking in, and as you kick back, you're thinking about that tight plank versus kicking back and being here. Right. No good? Good. So while you're dropping your chest down, you exhale and you inhale up. Correct, correct. Um, theoretically, <laughs> theoretically, you know, everybody's- Maybe this is the main reason why I really hate burpees because I'm really breathless and it's really tiring because I don't breathe. Like I don't know where to breathe. I'm sure that's part of it. I'm sure that's part of it. Um, you, you know, you'll, you'll see as you go through, like, you know, I, I, I know my breathing patterns on burpees and I still get gassed every time I do burpees. Um, you know, there's just kind of like that point where you just, you know, your arms are tired, your legs are tired and you just got to take a rest. And if that's the case, take a quick rest and just try to keep getting back to it quickly. Right. Um, you're going to make up the most time on a workout like that. I don't want to talk to your ear to death because, you know, I'm going to go too crazy, but um, you're going to make up the most time and the most ground on a workout like this. If you can keep quick transitions, stay steady on the burpees and go unbroken on the thrusters. So it should be your kind of like three goals is try to stay unbroken for as long as you can on the thrusters, um, breathe, and then just stay steady on the burpees, right? No faster than you need to until you get to that last like 30 seconds of the workout. And it's like, okay, like I'm on my last round of burpees. I'm not going to go have to go back to the bar. I'm not going to have to go back to the burpees again. Like I'm, I'm laying on the floor for 10 minutes after I'm done with this. <laughs> right, does that make sense? Hopefully. All right, cool. Um, before we get started, are there any other questions? Anything? I just want to say I'm only using a bar, so it'll be a little bit lower. So I'll jump Perfect. over it, but it's only a bar, so it's on the ground. Yeah, that's okay. Um, or if you want to, um, you could use a dumbbell. You could jump over a dumbbell. But yeah, whatever. I mean, it's it's totally fine. Okay. The, All um, right. An object is an object. You're gonna wind up. Um, you're gonna wind It'll up. It'll be ten minutes of hell anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're totally. You're totally gonna wind up breathing heavy one way or the other. So it doesn't really okay. matter. Um, yeah. it doesn't really matter what weight it is. I think less is less is more. If it's easy, you can always move a little faster. That's what I always say. All right. Cool. Any other questions? Anything? All right. So we have ten thrusters, ten burpees over the bar, or ten burpees over the dumbbell. Remember to stay steady, keep moving. Um, try to stay unbroken on the thrusters as long as you can. Take quick breaks. Just get down to that first burpee. All right. Without further ado, 10 seconds. We're doing it. This is happening. Here we go. Three, two, one.
go. Got thrusters to start. Get that bar up to the front of the shoulders. Hip crease below parallel. So Alyssa, you don't have to bring it down to the floor. You can keep it on your shoulders the whole time. It's just a squat and a press. There you go, that's it. Yep. That's it, guys. Breathe on those burpees. Don't hold your breath. Right? Use this as your recovery. Believe it or not, we are only one minute in. Let's get it. There you go, Reach. Nice. And breathe. Every rep. Take a breath. Keep those elbows up. That's it, guys. Mindy. You go, Reesh. That's it. When you go into those burpees, try to stay tight when you kick back. Come on, Susan. You got it. Nice little so sec. Keep breathing. Good. Yeah, that's it. Nice, Anthony. Good, elbows up, Mindy. Try to keep that bar on your shoulders. Elbows as high as you can get them. Nice. Go, Barb. It's easy. Yeah, there you go. Chest up real tall. I'm going to keep breathing throughout. There you go. Right to those burpees. Nice, Reese. You got it. Come on. That's it. Double this. Uh, Guys, one rep at a time. You go, you got a little uh... Nice, Mindy. Nice work, guys. As soon as you put that weight down, try to move right to that first burpee, and vice versa. As soon as you finish that last burpee, and get over that bar quickly and just pick it up. There you go, Anthony. That's it, guys. Remember, try to fight off that burn, right? That lactic burn with oxygen. Just keep breathing. There you go, Susie. That's it. Good, Marie. Okay, keep those abs tight, Marie. Trying to lean back too much. Good, Alyssa. Breathe, especially at the top. Take a breath. There you go. Good. It, guys, you got it. Come on, Alyssa, you got it. Here you go, Reese. Come on, Reese, keep moving. Let's go, drop. Yeah, see, we're already halfway there. It's not too bad. Let's see, one rep at a time. Keep moving.
Nice and easy, there you go. Good Marie, good Mindy. Okay, you guys are doing awesome, stay steady. Okay, come on, Reese, you can do it. Go, Barb. Nice, easy. Nice, Marie. Yeah, keep breathing, Alyssa. Yeah, that's it. Come on, Reese. There you go. That's it, one up at a time. Come on, you can <laughs> nice job, guys. That one burned a little bit, right? Just a trifle. Nice job, but you guys made it through. Everybody survived. You guys all made it. Mindy woke up this morning. She didn't think she was going to make it. <laughs>
Hey, you give us, you give us encouragement, Jake. That's good. Because Bob and I, <laughs> I, try. Our, I try. This Fridays, we did Fridays on Saturday by ourselves. Nice. We could not push it. No, but we could not push each other. <laughs> <It's> oh. <better>. <laughs> 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 that's a, it's hard it's hard especially those two movements those two movements are just like there's no there's no reprieve there's no like every every like couplet or triplet has that like one movement where you can kind of like like catch your breath a little bit but there's really no like catching your breath on that like if you're if you're great at burpees you could maybe catch no. your breath in the burpees but you know you just inevitably it just hurts it's just uh like you kind of you kind of feel <laughs> You, you feel in the first minute of that workout how you're going to feel for pretty much the entire rest of the workout. Like you get done with that first round, you're like, okay, this is going to be the next like nine minutes. <laughs> it's just going to be fighting off this. I felt like when I tried to breathe, like at the front of the squatting position, it made it even harder. I feel like I was losing more breath that way. So it depends on, again, it depends on body position. So if you can stay really upright, you're going to be able to breathe a little bit more efficiently. And if you're breathing down into your belly, because if you tend to breathe up into your chest with the dumbbells on your shoulders, if you're crunched, it's, you're never going to be able to take that breath. It's always going to be like, you know, you, you feel that, that upper back is kind of going to do like that, like inhale where, where you're, you know, you're like overexerting that upper back to kind of hold position. Whereas if you can stay here and breathe and almost like let the dumbbell sit off to the side or on the barbell, just let the barbell rest in the shoulders, you'll be able to catch your breath a little bit more. I still feel uh, back for you. Yeah, but things things will, things like um, squat holds will help a lot in that. Like if you get down to the bottom of a squat and just focus on like keeping your chest as upright as you can or, or like wall squats like we do in accessories where your back is up against the wall um, and you're just practicing that. Like, just, like Yeah, it was like my, my bot, my, like my muscles weren't even that tired. I just felt like I was going to hyper. <laughs> yeah. 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 But those, those two movements too will tend to, yeah. will tend to do that. And the transitions, the transitions are so fast. It's like you yeah. finish, you finish the first round and you're like, oh man, like that was way faster than I wanted it to be. <laughs> like, even yeah. if you're conservative, you finish that first round in a minute and you're like, oh crap. <laughs> that was hard for a Monday too. Yeah. Yeah. In get, general. Get used to that. We're, we're programmed out for the oh, next like, five Mondays and they're, none of them are going to be easy. <laughs> Great. Oh. I was so over. my. My iPad died in the middle of the workout. I had to go switch to my phone. Otherwise, I wouldn't have known when it was over. I, I was that. like, damn, where'd the music go? I can't hear Jake talking anymore. And then I looked, and it was black, and then it was really hot. And I was like, I got to go grab my phone. Oh, no. So I had a small brief break. All right, that's okay. I'm sure you needed it. I'm sure you moved it <laughs> when you got back. It was I, hard. I, I, was, I was like, if I if I know I'm, like, taking a way longer break than, like, I'm – I'm, told myself that I was going to take. I always try to like move a little faster when I come back. I'm like, okay, try to make up like a little bit of time. Uh-huh. I get like three burpees in and I'm like, okay, well, that's over. <laughs> that's right. Jake? Oh. Breathing well, breathing. Did not work. The what? If, if Ray, Bob and I take a break, we don't stop. The, the, breathing, so the breathing during the burpee, you're no saying? breaks from the yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, good. That's what it's all about. <laughs> it didn't work, no. Yeah, it's all it's it's hard. Like, there's there's really no. Uh, it's kind of like breathing on the rower. Like, everybody's a little bit different, and I I try to just like find any possible spot that I can to breathe during burpees. Uh, but if I'm like if I'm really thinking about it, I'll I'll try to like exhale at the bottom and then inhale kind of on my way up and over. But there's no like perfect remedy for it because especially a workout like that where you're just like you're transitioning so fast that, and the breathing pattern's not not exact because your breathing pattern on both movements are going to be different. So it's, it's hard to, it's hard to fall into a singular breathing pattern that works better if you're doing like a hundred burpees in a row and you're trying to just like find that like steady, like monotonous pace. But if you're, if it's, if it's constantly varied or it's moving around all over the place, yeah, you're going to find it's, it's tougher to, tougher to find a breathing pattern on burpees for sure. That's it. All right. Well, let's talk accessory really quick. We got 20 set or three sets, sorry, of 20 uh, glute bridges. You can choose to weight those if you want to. Um, but as always with the glute bridges, we're focused more on body position and trying to get the hips as open as we possibly can versus adding weight and keeping a shorter range of motion. So if you don't feel like you could open your hips any more than they possibly are, cool, add some weight to it. If you feel like maybe you still have a little bit of range of motion in there, try to work and focus on that bigger range of motion and getting <clears throat> the hips all the way open, almost as if you were like standing on top of a box at a box jump, right? So like, the hips should be as open as they can possibly be. All right, it's going to be three sets of 20 of those. Okay. Thanks, Jake.
You got it. Good work, everybody. Thanks, Jake. Thanks. Good seeing you guys. Thank you. Bye. Hey, Jake, I have one question about the accessory. Go for it. Um, if you do it weighted, do you do it with a barbell or just put a weight on your hips? Whatever you want. You know, like put a plate on your hips or? Do whatever you want. If you, if you have a plate, a plate works, a uh, barbell works. If you've got like a backpack, you could put a, like weights in a backpack. You could do like a medicine ball. You could do anything, anything you want. Okay. Okay. I have my, I have my bar here, so I might as well I, use I, it. I think bar works the best, but the, uh, the only problem is if you're doing it on the floor the, and you have like plates on it, like big size plates, they might, um, they might sit on the floor for a majority of the glute bridge. So you might, uh, to, like, you might have to like elevate them a little bit or put like your arms up on a box or something like that just to get the full range. Okay. There's a bench here, so I'll try that. Perfect. Thanks. 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 Bye. Bye, Reesh. Bye. Bye, guys. Are glute bridges good for your abs too? Um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're not an ab exercise. There's, they're more a glute exercise, but um, yeah, I mean, your abs are obviously going to be working to stabilize. Yeah. Okay. Sure. All right. Bye. Adios. Bye, guys. Bye.